Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with an amazing weapon, a marksman rifle for Modern Warfare 2, the Lockwood M2 with the Jack Warden's conversion kit becomes a deadly shotgun. Now, back in the day when I was kind of wet behind the ear second lieutenant, I thought the Jack Warden's kit turning the Lockwood into the Akimbo was a bad idea. And like all lieutenants, I took a look at the numbers because I wanted to prove my point. And you can see that with the slugs, you get a headshot damage of 209 and an increase on all the other damages, very significant increase, and just a little bit less on the effective damage range, a distance closer than my personal space. Okay, so I started out with the 410 gauge slug shells, and like I said, I had been promoted from a second lieutenant, and I thought that it was absolutely terrible. It was heartbreak, these kind of results. So then I wised up a little bit and decided to try the 410 gauge incendiary shells. Why not? So it brought down the effective damage range, but the effective damage range is about as long as my memory anyway. So what does it matter? Headshot damage, you're not going to get a one-shot kill with both akimbo weapons. You're going to have to shoot twice unless the person is damaged. But the weapon performed so poorly that I was ready to just go ahead and flush it. So why not try something else? What you're about to see, this configuration, is what I ended up with. Of course, the Jack Warden's kit we just looked at, the 410 gauge, incendiary shells. I went ahead and put this muzzle on it because of the statistics, and I wanted a laser. I started out with this one here, but the red was so obnoxious that I just couldn't stand it. You'll see it in some of the earlier matches. So I put this laser on. I can't see it. Hip fire spread 1.8 degrees per second, so I thought it was pretty good. Let's take this beast onto the field of battle free-for-all, which I didn't expect much out of it in free-for-all, and see what happened. The perfect map for this. Oh, good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. All the difference in the world with the incendiary shells. Oh, it was he hopping over. Get back down here. Of course, I'm going to throw out the proximity mines. Whoa, the guy was trying to beat Grandpa to death. That's elder abuse. Just remember that. I'll remember that. That was Night Cream Face. I'll remember him. But I thought that if you were outside of three feet, you didn't have a chance. And I was wrong about that. The minimum damage range is close to 40 feet with this weapon. So you can put some shells in them. I mean, the, the shots are about as fast as a Lockwood 680 shooting again, maybe even faster. Now, I wouldn't try to hit somebody at that range, but I'd follow Night Cream Face around. Look at him. Oh, elder abuse. So despite the elder abuse, we build a little bit of a lead. And I get gacked by Nicki Minaj. Oh, what is that thing? That's a trophy. Sorry about that. Cheech. There it is again. Get rid of that thing. How many shots does it take? I think uh, only two now. That's a nerf to the trophy system. And those shells, even if I don't hit it, the fire, I think, destroys it. See you later, young lady. Keeping our lead. Sorry, Cheech. But you got to go. Oh, and then I always tend to give the lead back. There's a gack. There's buying the farm. And now the lead has dwindled to almost nothing. But trip kills are always in style. Of course, buying the farm is too. Expensive real estate. So we're in Das House. Das Kugelschreiber. 
think that's a pencil in German. Or, or is that a pen? A Bleistift is a pencil. See it, Cheech? The terrorist got me. Oh, he's, he's rocking a Lockwood. See, this, this thing's been a pain. I think it belongs to Cheech. There he is. I paid for it. That thing blew him all the way outside of the... Uh-oh, there's Night Cream Face. And you can see that I almost gave up on these weapons. There's Cheech. And the terrorist got me. And I'm glad I didn't because it is a beast. Now, is it an everyday use? No, short map thing? I think it's okay. I even practiced with it on Rust once, and I got 42 kills. I was in first place. I was going to use that one. And then I thought, well, you know what? I might as well go into free-for-all and shoot about 25 times. A Snickers win, 30 kills. So what do I think about this weapon? I think it's pretty niche. You can see how nervous I am sitting there. I'm jumping around. There's a cheese kill to win it, but a kill is a kill. I think it's niche. It's fun. I think you should definitely try it, and I will pull it out a few times, definitely. Please like and subscribe. Peace.